Good evening, you're watching the Daily News Bulletin. I'm Navya Singh and I'll quickly take you through all that has happened in the last 24 hours. Let's begin. A woman was beheaded by an attacker who also killed two other people in Paris on Thursday at a church. The incident has been termed as an act of terror by the city's mayor. The police has confirmed that at least three people lost their lives during the attack, while several others suffered some serious injuries. Resident doctors and health workers ended their strike over non-payment of their salaries on Wednesday, which was 28th of October, after they received their salaries from the North Delhi Municipal Corporation. The resident doctors and the health workers had gone on a strike on 23rd of October over non-payment of their salaries during the COVID-19 pandemic. The central government has passed an ordinance making air pollution an offence that can attract a jail term of up to five years and impose a penalty of up to rupees one crore. Now, this ordinance was passed late on Wednesday night after getting the president's approval and also includes setting up of a commission constituting 18 members to look into the air quality management in the national capital region. Now, the committee, ladies and gentlemen, will look into factors like stubble burning, vehicular pollution, dust pollution and all the other factors that together contribute to the deteriorating air quality in Delhi and the national capital region. Shifting focus to COVID-19, the Union Health Ministry today said that India has conducted one crore COVID-19 tests in the last nine days. The ministry also said that on an average, the country is conducting about 11 lakh COVID-19 tests for the past six weeks. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, India continues to witness a decline in its active COVID-19 cases. The total number of active COVID-19 cases in the country constitute just about 7.5% of the total positive cases in the country. In another major news, the United States 2020 presidential elections is turning out to be the most expensive elections in history and twice as expensive as the last presidential elections. This year, the total cost of elections is likely to reach an unprecedented 14 billion US dollars. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this comes at a time when the world is fighting a COVID-19 pandemic and when the United States itself is the worst hit by the deadly coronavirus. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.